Hello everyone, today let's talk about finding an equation of the plane that's going to this point and then it's perpendicular to a given vector. Um, for this kind of problem, as I have talked about in the other videos, it's a good idea to draw a picture because the picture can actually show us what we need and what we need to do to figure out the equation plane. Okay, so um, we are just going to do a sketch here and the sketch doesn't even need to be accurate. We just want that to show the idea of uh, solving this problem. So um, we want to find the plane. So there was the plane. Okay, so we just draw the plane. And then this plane must go to this point. So this point over here. And then we can call it point P. And then we can say, that, okay, so the plane is actually going to this point over here, right? And then now it says that the plane is perpendicular to this vector. So this vector here, it's being perpendicular to the plane. So we have five, three, and six. Okay, so now we call that for a plane equation, we actually will need two things. Okay, we need two things. What do we need? One is that we are going to need a point. And the other one is that we are going to need the normal vector. We need a normal vector for that is perpendicular to the plane. And now we just want to check whether we have that. Do we have a point? We have a point that the plane goes to, so that's okay. And then the other one is the normal vector. Now for the normal vector, um, the vector is perpendicular to the plane. And it just happens that we are given a vector that is perpendicular to the plane, right? Because this is what it says right here. So we also have the normal vector. And because we have both things, we can actually just write down the equation. So how do we write down the equation? It's this, we have the, the form of the, the equation is going to like a and then x minus x zero and then plus b and then y minus y zero and then plus c and then z minus z zero that's equal to zero okay and so the abc okay the abc is the what the abc is actually the what we use as the normal vector so that's our abc and then the point what about the point the point is actually the point p okay and then it's three um it's we can just write the generic form first so x zero y zero z zero okay so now we just fill in the rest of the information and so now a b c would be five three and six so we are going to have the five for the and then x minus x zero x zero is three so we just get the three over here and then um, the next one, the next one is the, the B. The B is the three over here, so plus three. And then we have Y minus, now Y zero, we gotta subtract the, the Y value of the point. So we get A the two. So it's not y minus 2, it's y minus negative 2 because we need to copy exactly this number over here. And then the next one is a c, the c is the 6, right? So we get plus 6. And then z minus z0, z0 is the 5. So we have the 5 over here. And then now we just need to simplify this equation. Basically, we already have the answer, which is this one. But if you want to write it in a simplified form, then we can actually distribute. So we can get 5x minus 15. And then plus this one is, this one becomes what? Y minus negative 2. So if you just do some scratch work over here, it's what? This is y plus 2 actually okay so we have the 3 3 times y we get 3y and then 3 times 2 we get 6 and then plus 6z and then minus 30 that's equal to 0 so now combining the all the constants then we are going to get what? What is that? that's negative 15 uh, plus 6 is negative 9 and then negative 39 equals zero. And so what do we get here? We just move the 39 to the other side. So we get 5x plus 3y plus 6z is equal to adding 39 to both sides of the equation. Then that's our final answer. Okay, so this is a simple problem, but it shows the idea of when 
we need to figure out an equation on the plane, then it's a good idea to draw a sketch and then use the given information to show on the picture what we have and what we need so that we can find the equation of the plane. Okay, so that's it for this problem. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.